it is better to be overexposed than underexposed welcome back to conversations with love from dr mom today we're going to talk about a very exciting topic a very pressurized topic matric results so the matric class of 2021 congratulations well done but before you get your results let's talk about failure let's talk about the pressures that your parents are putting on you the pressure that your friends that your peers that social media has put on our lives and as we dwell into it's going to be a q a session i'm going to ask dr mom questions and she's going to respond with the best knowledge that she has and i'll also give her two cents if it makes sense over to you dr mom thank you good afternoon everyone sangonani dumelang Lochani, Molweni, it's good to be here. Thank you very much for the platform. Serious topic that we're talking about, metric results. Yes, good one, no, metric results. So, how can parents, or how should parents prepare for pre-results day? Like the pressures, the financial means, do they talk to their kids about the journey? Do they sit them down and say, this is what I expect from you? Or do they lessen the expectation and just go with the flow? Remember, your metric year does not start in the year when you're doing your metric. It starts when you're in grade 10, when you're in grade 11, and so on. So parents need to support their children. That's the most important thing that you can do. Kids need emotional support. Kids need financial support. They need um, you to take them by the hand and to remind them that no matter what comes out, no matter what results they get, they will still be your child. It does not change who they are simply because they got a C while you were expecting an A. And your metric results, they show the effort that you have put into your studies throughout the 12 year journey that you had. So financial support, emotional support, spiritual support, just being there for your child is very important. And also remember to pray for your child. That is how you can support them. Through the gym, throughout the journey. So as you prepare for the results that are coming out tomorrow, one, you sit down with your child, remind them that whatever that you are going to collect on that piece of paper, it is the results of the efforts that they have put in throughout the 12 years. The journey does not end here. It is just a chapter that we are closing and we are going to open a new chapter based on the results that we're going to collect. Yes. So, with regards to Tan and I, we matriculated, I think, a year apart. And, like, how did you feel with the journey, like, helping us prepare for my Because she was in boarding school and I was at home, so it was easier to be there for me emotionally than for her while she was in boarding school, as well as the day we had to fetch our results. Because I was, like, right here, like, five minutes away from school. And then we had to, like, drive two hours to another province to fetch our results. So, like, you know, how were those challenges? And, yeah. Okay, um, metric results, it's a daunting task to go and fetch the results. Um, there is excitement, but there is that little bit of anxiety as well of, you know, what are we going to, what are we going to get there? Yeah. So yes, like you're saying, for you it was very easy because it was just around the corner. But I remember the night before, we did not sleep. We were all excited. I wanted to check for you on, 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 on what is it? Um, the website but i said to myself these are not my results i must allow you to be able to be the first one to see the results in the morning we drove to your school when we got there i did not walk into the school with you i waited for you outside so that you could go and be the first one to see the results when the results came out exciting because you had done well also with tando when um we were waiting for the results there was a lot of excitement, but we were also nervous because we did not know what to expect. Um, it is normal, you know, even when you're in university, when you're waiting for your results, you are excited, but at the same time, there is still that, that little bit of anxiety. So, yes. Then, the most important thing that I did for both of you was to support you through prayer. I prayed a lot for both of you to ensure that you can accept whatever result that comes out. Two hours drive to push it through. It was it was a good drive. I must say, we did not even feel the two hours because yeah. it was full of excitement. And when we arrived at Porsche, I we all waited for Tando outside. She went inside to fetch her envelope, and when she came out, you could see the smile on her face that she had done well. So at the end of the day, as parents, we must remember that 
as much as we walk the journey with you, it is not our journey. It is your journey. So we must give you the support that we can, but also allow you to be the first one to see the results, to be the first one to celebrate, you know, the achievement that you got, because it is your journey. We are only there to support you. So what about failure? Like, what if I don't meet my, because sometimes you have your own personal expectations and you're like, what, maybe seven A's or like four A's and a couple of B's here, but you're not with like C's and B's and you're like, but that's not what I wanted, you know? So as an individual, how do you deal with that failure? Because no one prepares for failure, you know? It's something that you cannot expect, especially like now, matrix growth during a pandemic, like nobody knew what was happening. Nobody could predict how the exams are gonna come out. Yeah. So now I got the results, but it's not what I expected. It's a diploma, it's a high certificate. What now? Um, whatever results that you get, don't beat yourself up. Remember 2020 was a very difficult year. At some point, we never thought that matriculants would be able to sit down for their exams. So whatever results that come out, don't be too hard on yourself. Accept the results as they are. If you have failed completely, failure is part of the journey. Out of failure comes lessons. So it is for you to sit down, regroup, and see what is it that you didn't do well. Which subjects uh, did you go wrong in? What is it that you require? Do you need um, an extra tutor? Do you need extra classes? You know, you need to sit down with your parents. You need to sit down with your teachers as well so that you can draw a new roadmap now to say, okay, yes, I accept that I have failed. You need to accept that you have failed. You know, killing yourself is not going to help. It's not going to solve anything. Running away, hiding from the fact that you have failed. It's not going to help you with anything. But the sooner that you accept that, you know what? I didn't do well. I have failed. But I'm going to try it again in 2021. You don't give up. You don't just leave it there. You go back. You try again. But this time, make sure that you draw yourself a roadmap. You know exactly what is it that you need. The support that you need. Be outright with your parents. I need support. I cannot do all the chores that you're giving me every day because I need more time. So time management is very important. A acceptance as well, like I've already said, you must accept that I fail. It's not the end of the world. I am going to try again because age allows you to try again. And if you have, um, like you said, you, got a you did not get bachelor's, you got a diploma. It's also okay because it reflects the um, amount of work that you have put in in preparing for the matric. So that one also, it is up to you. You know, you sit with your parents and you talk about it. What other options are there for you? Yes. You know, uh, I mean, everybody wants to get an A, but not everyone will get an A. Yeah. We all want Bs and, you know, these wonderful results, but it's not everyone who will get those results. Just like in a race, there will always be one winner and you will have others who will come second and third and so on. But it does not mean that they are not as good as the one who got uh, the first position in a race. Mm -hmm. It just reflects the amount of work that you have put in in preparing for that race. Mm -hmm. So go back to the drawing table as well. Look at other options that are available because sometimes you can take a longer journey to your destination. Mm -hmm. You can go and do a um, one-year program, a bridging program that allows you to get accepted into the course that you are doing. I want to share um, an example of one child that I know. She got a good pass in metric, mm -hmm. but for science, she did not get the A that she had expected. Mm -hmm. She decided to go and rewrite. Mm -hmm. Same, at the end of the year, she got exactly the same marks, the C. Mm -hmm. She had wanted to do medicine, but she was not accepted into medicine. However, she was accepted to do uh, dentistry in the year in which she wrote metric. But she decided the following year that because she did not get the A, then she went and rewrote uh, physical science the following year. She got exactly the same mark. I think the marks had improved by about two. It was still a C. Guess what happened to her? She ended up doing the, the dentistry again because that is where she was initially accepted. It was at a different university. So can you see that already her path was there? Yeah. 
but because she had not accepted the first results second time same results came out so don't be too hard on yourself it's okay not to get an a yeah. no one will blame you for not getting an a and also parents must understand that 2020 was a very difficult year and you can still do better in the following year you know so i am saying don't be too hard on yourself accept the results as they are and just go and try again if you have failed completely otherwise sit with your parents sit with your teachers because they know you better and they can advise you more about what to do with that being said um i remember Freddie telling you that remarking is definitely not an option because she did exceptionally well but acceptance was not there so she remarked i think two of her subjects and nothing improved because i remember when i got my results i had 168 and my teachers had go remark this subject and i was like you know what i was at peace i'm like you know what i know that i did not put in the effort for the subject and i was okay with it so if you know that you failed but you know if you go, like you failed with the 49 38 39 go remark you never know you might move from that high certificate to diploma or to bachelor but if you got your c's and b's guys don't be selfish make peace with it accept it and see what other options you have for example i'm going to put in the description box something called schemati so if you got less than 59 64 like math or accounting and you still want to do accounting science or you still want to go into a bsc course there's various universities which allow you to have a bridging course called the edb program extended degree program and guys please call those universities and tell them that you know what i did not get into my main degree but i still want to come to this university i still want to study this how can i get into this program and it's just one year longer than what you expected and it's going to open your eyes to different things like i said to be overexposed and underexposed is better because now you realize that actually i don't like accounting science but i like uh what is the else business management you know so you're exposed to different fields within the accounting stream within the science within whatever other field you're going to go into whether it's art social sciences and it gives you a lot of resources guys so please look into that open these websites ask guys please ask there's no better thing than asking because if you ask you really mitigate a lot of problems with that being said guys regardless of the outcome there's always another way to reach your destination whether it's long or short we're all going to reach where god requires us to go to any closing remarks okay um good luck for tomorrow and remember the results that you are getting it is what you have put in throughout the year of 2020 2020 was a difficult year um but you made it this far so go out there be the best that you can be and accept the results that you are going to receive also make sure that you have someone who will walk the journey with you don't walk the journey alone out of ashes beautiful buildings can come out out of ashes beautiful trees and beautiful flowers can grow so remember if you find yourself in ashes it is for you to make sure that you plant something in those ashes that will mushroom to be a beautiful beautiful plant tomorrow thank you very much and good luck good luck good luck thank you good luck from dr mom guys see you next week bye